If you struggle with confidence, it can literally ruin your life. 75% of young people have said that they've experienced low confidence in their lives. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can fix that forever. And I'm gonna be really honest with you. I've always been a confident person. I played for Premier League football club, Crystal Palace for 10 years, ages eight to 18. I went to America, I played D1 soccer out there. I graduated with a 3.98 GPA. Like I've always achieved things. And even when my life wasn't going well, I was never low on confidence because confidence shouldn't be dictated by your circumstances. So let's get into the first point. Confidence doesn't come out of nowhere. Any of you have played a sport, there's always something that you're not necessarily good at when it comes to the sport. For example, I played football all my life. My left foot wasn't the best, but over time I gained more confidence in using it because guess what? I bloody practiced. I used to practice my left foot every day. I would do more left foot shooting than right foot shooting because I felt very, very confident with my right foot. I felt a little less confident with my left foot. So I did more work to try and bring it up to that level. It never got to the same level as my right foot, but I practice relentlessly to make sure that it improved. You need to be thinking about what are you practicing that you're not good at? I talk to so many people who say they're not confident, but they don't practice confidence. If you're not good at talking to girls, go out more, talk to more girls. If you're not good at sending DMs, send more DMs. If you're not good at taking pictures, take more pictures. We make things so effing hard for ourselves because we don't do the simple things. The best way to fix an issue is to tackle the issue. So practice more of what you're not good at. That's the first thing. And I know it sounds basic, but most people don't even do Who's your favorite athlete? I'm going to give you two seconds to think about that. One, two. Who's your favorite athlete's coach? If you don't know, get on Google real quick, check them out. For this example, let's just say Usain Bolt. He may be the greatest sprinting athlete ever, the greatest Olympian ever, but he also had a coach. His name is Glenn Mills. Big up all my yardies. Now, there's no saying that Bolt wouldn't have been great with any coach, but Bolt has actually said that without Glenn Mills, he wouldn't be where he is. A coach simply made him better. And if you're lacking confidence right now, it might be because you've never invested in getting help. It might be a dating coach. It might be a gym coach. It might be a social networking coach. It might be a writing coach. It might be a sales coach, but you need to invest in a coach because the greatest athletes in the world have coaches. So if you think, oh, I'm going to do it on my own, that's exactly why you'll never be great because no man is an island. Just remember that most people that lack confidence are a little bit insecure. They're a bit feeble and they're probably a bit weak. They walk in a room and their backs all hunched over like this and their energy is literally suppressed. You're literally suppressing your energy like that. So here's what I'm going to tell you to do. Go to the effing gym. I am not going to sugarcoat this one or use any analogies or stories. Go to the gym a minimum of three days a week. But if you really want to build muscle and look good, probably five days a week. Work on your rare delts, work on your back, fix your posture issues so you stand in a room and you look confident. You actually have an aura about you. There's a difference between a guy who walks in a room with muscles, he's tall, he's big, he's strong, versus a guy who looks skinny, sprawny, frail, doesn't look confident. You can just tell. Make sure you stretch and you do mobility drills so that you can release all that suppressed energy from your poor posture. If you have a weak body, you'll never be confident because a weak body leads to a weak mind, which leads to a weak spirit. And then if you remember what my first point is, if you've got any social issues and stuff like that, then being in the gym is the best place to overcome it because you're going to meet people. You're going to have to talk to people. It's going to put you in different social circles. It's going to put you in social scenarios. You might get a gym crush. Like all the different scenarios you can think of may take place in the gym. So you might as well start going. I promise you, the gym is a great place to meet new friends, get in contact with new people. And even more importantly, it's actually going to help you look good. And nine times out of 10, people that lack confidence look like crap. So if you want to look sexy, go to the gym. So now you've built the foundations, but it doesn't end there. The next part here is crucial, but it's heavily overlooked and it is learning how to fight. I have a personal belief that every man should have the capability of being dangerous. I'm not saying that you should be dangerous or you should hurt, people, but you should have the capability of inflicting danger if something happens or if someone provokes you to that point. The thing is, some of you have no confidence because you literally don't know how to defend yourself. If shit hit the fan, you would be running for the hills. Now, I'm not saying you should fight people with weapons and stuff like that. Obviously, you know, I ain't, you're not going to beat a knife or a gun. In a situation where someone's testing your manhood, you want to have the confidence that you could defend yourself if you needed to. And I want to make that very clear. Learn some type of martial arts, boxing, kickboxing, MMA, Muay Thai, jiu-jitsu. Pick something that's actually practical in everyday use. Don't pick one of these fancy ones that would never work in real life. And I promise you, doing that alone is going to change your confidence. Imagine you're walking out with your partner. If you're with a girl and you don't even have the confidence to defend her, how are you going to be confident? It just doesn't make sense. And the thing is, 
most men don't know how to fight. I ain't talking about having a little street fight. I'm talking like actually knowing how to fight. So just by learning six months a year, you already put yourself in a better position than like 99% of men. So just go out and learn. I promise you, it's not as scary as you think. You'll start off with doing some classes, then get some one-to-one -one sessions. Then you'll do sparring. And I promise you, getting punched in the face, although it does sting a little bit, you will start to get used to it. You'll build a tolerance to it. And eventually you'll put yourself in a much better position as a man. Your confidence will skyrocket. And I told you guys already, I was already a confident guy. I was a high achiever. But I think that learning to fight made me go from like nine out of 10 confidence to officially completing me at 10 out of 10 confidence. I promise you. And I want you to remember this. We are never looking for trouble as men. But if trouble finds us, we are going to deal with it. That's that. Now, the last point here. I don't know if many of you guys know the late great footballer Pele. He was from Brazil, considered to be the greatest footballer that ever lived. And he said in a video that he would actually meditate before games. He would lay down and he would cover his eyes with a towel and he would visualize exactly what would happen on the pitch and nine times out of ten what he visualized took place he scored loads of goals and is considered to be the greatest ever literally before there was messi ronaldo maradona there was pele the truth is your power is located in your mind and if you feel weak if you feel feeble that's a reflection of how you think about yourself i want you to consider this start off with meditation 10 minutes monday to friday First thing in the morning, just meditate. Think about what you want your day to look like. Practice some gratitude and believe in yourself. That meditation can really center your spirit and allow you to get to where you want to get to. And then step number two is visualize. I'm not saying you've got to visualize every single day, but certain times throughout the year, do a deep visualization practice. Here's what I like to do. Every quarter, I like to do a flotation tank. I go to a place in East London. You literally lay in the water. They shut the tank and you're just stuck in darkness for like an hour. It's honestly the most relaxing thing you can ever do. I visualize about where I want my life to be in five years. What I personally want to be doing. How much work do I want to do? What family members do I want around? How am I going to help these family members? I really think about all the depths of my life. Then I write my goals and I visualize those goals on a vision board. That vision board is now on the back of my laptop and my computer. You can literally draw a vision board. It depends how creative you are. But essentially, you need to start visualizing the process. Because when you visualize it, you will become more confident. If you keep thinking about something and it just doesn't take place, then you're never going to be confident. And these hacks is what allows me to keep my mind right. So let's face it. Sperm counts are getting lower. 30% of men are sexless in the last year. 25% of men have never been on a date. Another 25% of men are virgins by the age of 27. And it's all leading me to this conclusion in my mind that a lot of men are actually lost. There's a silent crisis going on somewhere. And building confidence is the starting point to all of this. But look, I've told you what to do. It's down to you to go and do it. And there's one easy point that I think everyone can start doing, and that is the gym work. If you go to the gym, but you actually want to start seeing results, I actually made a step-by-step -step video breakdown of how I like to train and also how you can steal my workouts and build a body that you're truly proud of. All you've got to do is watch this video right here. Peace.